uh, this evening. I commend it to the House. I call Dr Deborah Russell. Mr Speaker, this is a, a very pragmatic bill. Um, it's trying to find a solution for a problem, and a very real, real problem um, in the Waimea Valley. Uh, it's not actually a particularly complicated bill, um, but it's taken a long time to get here. Uh, years and years of consultation, agonising, trying to work out solutions, um, changes of government and so on. And it does represent a compromise. Um, the compromise is that some conservation land will be used in order to secure the water supply in the Waimea, for the Waimea, in this water, Waimea water augmentation scheme. And for that reason, I just want to sort of, sort of contradict something that the Honourable um, Nathan Guy just said. He felt that it was going to the right place and going to the Government and Administration Committee. I, I'm, I'm very disappointed it's not coming to the Environment Committee. Uh, because, to my mind, the discussion we need to be having is around the conservation values and when we need to perhaps sort of say, we understand the conservation values, but we're actually going to override them in this instance, or, or, or as it were, try to barter them or try to come to a solution that's better overall. And I think it's a discussion that's worth having at length. But um, I guess the Government and Administration Committee can have that conversation too, but I am, as I said, very disappointed that it's not coming to uh, the committee that I chair. I, I would have liked to have had the opportunity to talk about You're it. You're a good chair. Um, and of course it would be uh, well debated by all members of that committee. I do think that the taking of any conservation land needs to be assessed very, very carefully indeed. Um, we heard from uh, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith that this was a no-brainer, that we should be going ahead and doing it, no matter what. It, it was, you know, the solution was, to his mind, obvious. I'm not quite sure that it's quite a no-brainer. I actually do think that uh, taking riverbed um, taking land that has been set aside for conservation purposes, even if it's only stewardship land, that's not a no-brainer. That is actually an issue that needs to be discussed and needs to be debated, needs to be weighed up. Uh, and um, here, even though we are being pragmatic about this, I, I do want to sort of refer to a quote that uh, my colleague, the Honourable David Parker, goodness, all these honourables, uh, often uh, makes, and it's a quote from the World Bank economist Herman Daly, and David, often use, uh, David Parker often uses it. It says, the economy is a wholly owned subsidiary of the environment, not the reverse. Now, I think uh, uh, Mr., uh, the Honourable David Parker endorses that often, and actually I, I agree uh, that the environment doesn't serve the economy. It is the other way around. Yet in this instance, we, we seem at first glance to have an instance of the environment serving the economy. But that's a simplistic way of thinking about it because, as has been discussed at length, this issue has gone to the Environment Court. It has been closely examined by DOC. The costs and benefits, not in dollar terms, that's, that's a different issue, but the costs and benefits in terms of the environment have been assessed very, very carefully. And it does seem that on the whole, that the environmental benefits of this scheme will outweigh the cost of using some dock land. And I think that has to be the assessment every time we're engaged in one of these uh, considerations of whether or not some dock or conservation land should be sacrificed. We shouldn't be assessing it simply on economic grounds, because it's too easy to sell out the environment every time for the economy. It is much better to assess it on conservation grounds and on environmental values. And um, given that this has been through the Environment Court, given that DOC does support it, given that there uh, it does seem to be a huge range of environmental benefits, I think, pragmatically, on the whole, this bill is a bill worth supporting. And it's interesting to notice that um, the, the Tasman District Council has agonised over it as well. No one has come to this decision easily. 
So this is a bill that is worth supporting, certainly through this first reading, and it is a scheme, I think, that, um, for the reasons that Dr Smith has laid out, does need to find some way of being supported because of the long-term benefits from it. So I'm looking forward to the discussion. As I said, I'm just disappointed that it's not coming to the Environment Committee. I call Mark Patterson. Mr Speaker, uh, it's with much pleasure I rise to offer New Zealand...